Hello everyone, welcome to Neil's world and this is Neil. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can copy files between different cloud storage services without actually downloading it to your PC first and then re-uploading it. So without any further ado, let me show you in my browser window how to do it. So let me go to my browser and then show you how you can do this. So here in my browser, I'm using a service and web app from multcloud.com. You go to multcloud.com and you have this window. So here you can sign up an account for free. You can log in also using your Facebook or Google credentials. So I already have logged into my account and I'll show you what is there inside. So this is my multi-cloud account. I am already logged in. So I'll go ahead and go to my dashboard. So it takes a little bit of time. Let us wait for it to, uh, to show up. So it, my internet connection is also not that great. So here in my dashboard, there are two drives being shown because I already have added these two drives. So the first time you log in, you do not have these OneDrive, Google Drive, etc. listed here. So what you can do is that once you log in, you can go to this Add Cloud Drives option and click on it and you can select out of these different cloud services. It supports around 30 services and you can add these services one by one. For example, you can add 10, 15, 20 different services if you have accounts with those services. So how to add service? You click on it, click next, you give it a name, go click on add the account. And in the next page, you have to authenticate. Okay, I'm not going to do this now. I'll go back. To my account and show how to copy files between two different services after you add them through the add cloud drive option so here uh, i'm back with my dashboard what i can do is that i can explore or see what is there in my cloud drives i have added google drive and onedrive so if i click on google drive it it, it gives me a file explorer of my Google Drive there are two ways by which you can copy files between drives one thing is that first one is that you go ahead to a folder or a file particular file and you click on this copy button and then go back to the other drive other stores and there you can simply right click and paste okay so instead uh, and there is one more thing which you can do by going to this cloud transfer option where you can select a directory from where you want to transfer files select the directory by going into the explorer and then select the destination directory on the other drive or in the same drive that way also you can do it okay if you click on transfer now the transfer will happen so this is how you can easily copy files and folders to between in between different cloud storage services without actually downloading it. So let me show you one example by going into this demo. So there is no files in this folder. So I have one file in this Google Drive demo folder. Let me see if I can find it to show you. So I have this file I can simply right click and copy go to OneDrive and go back to this drive and paste waiting for copy okay okay now it is copied all right this is how you can do it it is a simply copy paste and it is done within in the cloud you don't have it is not downloaded to your pc first and then uploaded so it it saves some bandwidth and your computer space so how it can be useful for you if you have multiple storage cloud storage accounts and you have 
in some cloud storage account you have exhausted your space then you can easily transfer some of your files or folders to the other service thereby giving you more space in that particular cloud storage service and once you suppose you are you are transferring bigger files you can simply copy that file and paste it uh, in the other folder or in the other drive and then you can exit out of this browser window as well and that file transfer will happen in the back end okay there is one more option which is very useful which is called this cloud sync where you can assign two different for example two different folders or two different services for example source i if i select this demo folder here select ok then click the destination if i select for example demo folder backup so it is there so here i can set up as a sync so if i put some files in the demo folder of google drive and it will it will automatically be synced up to the onedrive folder and it is one way sync and we can have it in two way sync as well so this two way sync is there there are other sync modes which require you to have a premium account so two way sync is both ways so this synchronization will take place both ways if you put some files in onedrive it will automatically automatically be synced up to google drive and if you put files on google drive it will automatically be synced up to onedrive so this is very useful if you want to keep two different files two different copies of a file in two different services like google drive and onedrive it is for example i am using google drive and onedrive you can use any cloud storage services like dropbox like mega etc so this is a very useful application and now about the pricing plans what is there i am getting 30 gb of data transfer so if i go to upgrade my account i'll see these plans so what are there this current plan 30 gb of data traffic per month so we have 30 gb data transfer per month available for free and it is more than enough for most of the users for me it is more than enough so if you need more space or more bandwidth for data transfer per month you can upgrade to these different plans monthly plans and yearly unlimited plans so i don't think it is necessary for common users like me so this 30 gb plan is more than enough for most of us so this is how you can what you call uh this is how you can copy files between different cloud storage services and this service is very helpful in many cases and now let me talk about one bonus tip so i have used google drive and onedrive i have got onedrive one terabyte plan which is a personal plan of microsoft office 365 there is a tip that I'm from India in India if you want to buy a Microsoft personal 365 plan through the PC to the browser for example let me show you again using my browser Microsoft 365 let me show you how we can get some discount Microsoft 365 plans let me show you what are the difference between I'm, 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 I'm giving you a tip uh, let me let this window open for home for home okay for home so let me show you a tip regarding Microsoft Office 365 in this video it's it's getting a little bit longer but still I'll show you what you can get a little bit of discount by a small trick so it is like Microsoft 365 personnel 420 rupees per month. Okay, so this is the price for Microsoft personnel 420 rupees per month. The tip is that let me go back and talk to you. The tip is that you install Microsoft uh, OneDrive on your Android and subscribe to the one terabyte plan from your android device or maybe ios device in that case you will get everything at a discounted rate 
the pricing if you subscribe from your mobile phone is less than if you subscribe from a browser that I found out while I tried to get this Microsoft personal account so this is a bonus tip I hope you like this tip and if you somehow found this video useful please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button and also share this video with your friends so that they can get some help out of this video so thank you very much see you soon in my next video